Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am doing a DIY for you. You guys loved my last one and you always love when I do DIYs, so I thought I would throw some more your way. Today I'm going to be showing you my secret family recipe for homemade sweet tea. This has been my thing since I was little. My dad always made this for me and so I wanted to pass it on to you guys. And I'm also going to be showing you how you can make your own mason jar travel cup. It was really hard, I needed my dad's help, so I also sort of recommend just going to Walmart or Target and buying one because they make them now. But um, I still show you how you can do it if you feel like taking on the challenge. And if you choose to do any of these DIYs, don't forget to tweet me about it and send a picture with the hashtag DIYWithPXB. And if you do, I will follow you and DM you and we can be pals, yay! So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. You want to start off by putting a pot on the stove and then you're going to fill up the pitcher that you're going to put the iced tea in all the way to the top and pour that water into your pot. Then you want to fill up your pitcher again but this time only halfway and add that to your pot. This is going to help accommodate for any evaporation that's going to happen during the boiling process. Then all you have to do is turn your stove on and add a lid to your pot. It won't take very long to boil since this is a fairly small amount of water. So in the meantime, we're going to start taking our tea bags out of their little packets. I'm using three tea bags, but the amount that you are going to use can depend on how strong you like your tea and also how big your pitcher is. Mine is fairly small and I don't like my tea to be that strong, so three was plenty for me. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just putting them all together and then twisting them. That way they're all going to stay together when we put them in the pot. So once your water is boiling, you can go ahead and take the lid off and you're just going to start dunking your tea bags in there. And after a few times, you can just go ahead and drop them in. Now while we wait for our tea to brew, we're going to go ahead and fill up our pitcher all the way to the top with ice. This is going to help that boiling hot tea cool down really, really fast. This is always what I do when I want to be able to drink my tea pretty much immediately, and this always does the trick. And once your tea is brewed to your liking, you can go ahead and take those tea bags out, and now it's time to turn it into sweet tea, which is the fun part. So I'm only adding one half cup of sugar, but you can add as much as you want depending on how big your pitcher is and depending on how sweet you like your tea. This was plenty sweet for me. I probably could have added a little bit more, but this was fine. And now I'm just stirring it up until the sugar completely melts into the tea. And now the fun part, you get to pour it over top of the ice and hopefully you don't spill like I did. But you'll notice some of the ice is going to melt immediately and the entire drink is going to be cold pretty much right away. Yes, good job, Jill. <laughs> So now I'm going to stick that in the refrigerator to keep it cool while we move on to our next DIY. So you want to start off by just placing your o-ring in the center of the lid to your mason jar and tracing it that way you know where the hole is going to be. And here comes the hard part. All right, Dad, can you tell us what you're doing? You're just starting off with a smaller little guy? Uh, yeah, a little pilot hole. Okay. That will Yay. make it easier for the larger bit, because the large bit will just slide around. Right. Now I'm going to go slightly larger, and then we'll get the real big one going. Oh, boy. That's the plan. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And now. Look at this guy. Mm. He's pretty scary. It's very old also. And leaking oil. <laughs> Ready? Ready. <laughs> Holy moly, that was so scary. Yeah. I hated that. I hated everything about it. Just try going <laughs> at it one more time. Okay, please be careful. I'll be careful. I'm so nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> That's probably the uh, 
the tip right there. So you go slow. Uh -huh. um, the first time I went through and I didn't have anything to clamp it with. Right. You know, but if you go slow um, and just a short burst like that, it'll get through but won't go crazy on you. Okay, phew, so once you get that done, if you manage to get it done, you're just going to go ahead and glue your O-rings over the hole on both sides. So I'm just applying a little bit of glue, try to do a fairly small amount because it does take a while to dry. And once you have the glue surrounding your hole, you're just going to go ahead and place your O-ring on and then you're going to repeat that on the other side. And once you have them both placed, you're just going to leave them to dry. And in the meantime, we're going to decorate our mason jar. So I decided to add some washi tape to my mason jar. I picked three colors and all I'm doing is wrapping it around in as straight of a line as possible. I sort of failed at this a little bit, but it still came out super cute. So I'm just wrapping this entirely around the bottle and then making sure that the two ends line up and sealing it down. And I just repeated this step with two other colors. I absolutely love the way these colors all look together. It's so summery and bright and fun. I think it just adds a really cool touch to your mason jar. And here's how the mason jar came out at the end. As you can see, it's so pretty. And it just adds a little pop of color to a normal old mason jar. And once you're done, you can go ahead and add the lid on. Make sure that it's completely dry first because you don't want to end up with glue in your iced tea, obviously. But once it is dry, you can go ahead and put the lid on and then add your straw and your mason jar to go cup is ready to go. And here are our two finished products together. Look at how pretty they both are. Just this combination reminds me so much of spring and summer, especially the iced tea. That's just such a summery thing for me. And so why don't we go ahead and fill up our mason jar. This mason jar that I used was actually huge and most of my iced tea fit right in there. I didn't have much left over. But that's okay, I just threw the mason jar in the refrigerator when I've had enough and saved it for next time. And I just cannot get over how absolutely gorgeous this looks. I just think that it's so, so perfect for summer. And once you get past the drilling part of the mason jar, it's a pretty easy DIY. And that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely loved making it. The sweet tea came out primo. It was so good, guys. I loved it so much. And I hope that you loved it too. There's going to be lots more DIYs coming your way. Once again, if you do this DIY or any of my DIYs, don't forget to tweet it to me with the hashtag DIYWithPXP for a follow and a DM and love. Sweet, sweet loving. <laughs> I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!